Uh, hold up. I really need some coffee. Oh, oh, oh. Hey coffee beans, welcome back to Mama's Thoughts and today we are doing our very first DIY custom made um, poopsie surprise cup. I want to remake this cup um, to make it look more like, like a custom Mama's Thoughts coffee beans cup if you will, if that makes any sense. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, paint the entire cup um, in a blue color because that's my favorite color and then I'm going to paint um, the lid purple and then I'm going to paint this whole band area white and then I'm going to make um, coffee beans right here um, with the eyes and um, just like my logo here um, and I will try to write my my um, my name, Mama's Thoughts on here. I'm not entirely sure yet how that will work because I stink at um, writing um, letters and paint brushes. <laughs> so we will see how this goes. And then after I finish up my custom made poopsie cup here, I'm going to open up two of these Wareums. Um, I have never seen these before. Um, I believe they're new, um, but I found them in Walmart um, for super cheap, and I was curious what these were, so I went ahead and grabbed two. Super cute! I absolutely love it in the hair. I'm not going to lie. That is a really cute way to wear a ponytail. Looks like a little kitty cat and like a little uh, Norwal um, that you can wear as like a ring. Stay tuned till the end of the video to see what these are, these Wareham's, and um, let's go ahead and so get started. I'm going to go ahead and get out my paintbrushes. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to paint my cap purple. Um, So I'm going to put my cup over there. I'm going to get my plate so I don't screw up my tablecloth. Shake up my paint. I have um, Apple Barrel Outdoor Multi-Surface Indoor Princess Purple um, Acrylic Paint. I don't think I need that much purple. All right. A little bit on my paintbrush. I haven't painted in years, so bear with me. This is my very first um, do-it-yourself project. Um, so I believe you want to do like a light coat first, and then we can always go back and add more paint later. So I'm just painting around the edges here, and I'm just gonna um, get the. Like, I have like a little extra on the top here. Just going to smooth that out so it dries consistently. Okay, I'm going to put that down so it can dry and put my brush over here because I'm going to use that purple again. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the white to like where the logo would be. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the white on. And I'm thinking that this is going to need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of white to get all of this um, original um, detailing off and to cover it up so that I can put my own custom spin on this cup. And if you can hear my TV right now, my daughter is home from school because she apparently had today off. She's a preschooler. Why they had Friday off? I have no idea. So she's in there watching uh, one of her favorite YouTubers, Cookie Swirl. Going ahead and doing some final little touches down here. Definitely think that I'm going to have to do a third coat on this guy. Okay, I'm going to put that down. 
and let's see if I can maybe add some more white to my cup. I think DIY stuff, making things custom is so much stinking fun. You can make your favorite toys, like if you have a duplicate um, of something, you can always customize it and make it your own. Definitely want to make sure that I get that premium poop wording off. Alright, it's starting to look really good. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and start on um, putting the blue on the orange. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my blue. And I'm going to go ahead and use this type of brush now. And just go ahead and start adding my blue. Ooh, it's kind of green because of that orange in the background. Alrighty, now I'm going to let that dry. Um, and go ahead and check out how my purple cap is doing. Hopefully this can be my last coat on the cap. cap looks pretty pretty good okay I'm gonna go ahead and check out how my white is doing I'm gonna touch it up a little bit more I feel like maybe I used the wrong brush because you can see my brush strokes a little bit but it's not bad it could be worse right Okay, now I'm going to flip my cup around and I'm going to start on the bottom of my cup and add, start adding that blue. I need to make sure that I get this orange gone. Woo! I'm going to start on, um, let's see, let me check out the purple cap here. Okay, I'm going to check out my cap, just do a little bit of, ooh, very tacky, so I'm going to leave it on the plate because I know the sides look pretty good, so I'm just going to do a little bit, very thin layer um, around the inside of this circle and touching up where I think it needs just a little bit more purple. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go back to my cup and I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm gonna do one more coat of white, but first I want to add more blue to the top of my cup. I wanna do a coat of my white last because that's gonna be like, my sealer like you know if I mess up on the blue I can cover that up easily with the white I want it to have that clean white um, trim there for like ah this is not this paint's not sticking right there ah! really probably should have did like some sort of a base my husband was right. I was like, hey, do you think paint will stick on this? And he was like, you probably need a base color first. A base sealant thing, magic. He didn't say that. He said something like that. I don't remember what he said. I wasn't really listening. It's funny because there's parts of it that is sticking really good. So I think it will turn out. It just needs probably a couple more um, coats first. And I'm gonna add some blue to the bottom of my cup set this down very carefully so that it can dry some 
and I'm gonna let my stuff set for a little bit, like maybe five, 10, 15 minutes, and then go back and do some more touching up before I try to add more paint. So Okay, so I let the cup dry um, quite a bit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more blue to the cup. Hopefully it the paint starts to stick better than what it was. It is starting to stick better. Just takes a couple coats. So if you're doing your first DIY stuff and it's not going very well, just keep adding very thin layers and building up the color and eventually it will it will work out and letting things dry. But that, that means you have to have patience, which is hard. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a second and I'm just gonna um, visit my cap here and just add a few little touches of purple, like, like right there. Blue is like my trouble, my trouble child here. Maybe I'll go for like the ombre look. Just kind of add more paint to the top <laughs> where it's actually sticking. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start making my coffee beans now. It's like a brown oxide. It's not chocolate brown because it's not supposed to really look chocolatey. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start making my coffee beans. Okay, so I put my coffee beans on there, um, and I'm not going to um, do another coat of brown because coffee beans um, are not like a flat color, really. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, start putting, actually, I think I'm going to, should I try to write my name? I don't know. It's kind of scary. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some stickers on while my brown dries. So I have some Shopkins, um, like a Shopkin um, sticker book pack thing. And I'm going to just, I'm not going to really use the Shopkins, but there's like cute little hearts and stars. So I'm going to peel those off and stick them right onto my cup. Okay, so I got a toothpick and I'm just going to add some little black eyes. I have a little crooked smile on this guy. I think I'm going to make him have a big smile with a tongue. Stick it out. It's not just like my logo, but you know what? It's close enough. crazy looking but it's okay um so there's my coffee beans and 
I really want to put some glitter on here so I'm going to just grab a thing of glitter that I have and I have some clear nail polish you could use um, like Maj Posh which is um, meant to like be like a sealant but if you don't have that um, you could probably just use some nail polish like cover I've never used nail polish on paint well it's not really I mean the paints dry now but um, So it should be just fine to kind of seal that glitter on there and my stickers and it should kind of give it like a glossy finish too. So there is my cup. I can always touch it up if I really, really wanted to, but for my first DIY, I think that that is pretty darn cool. Um, I think I could have added like mama sauce up at the top but you know I'm really not that artistic this is one special cup I'm not gonna lie and I have like paint all over my hands so there's my cup it is not perfect but you know what I did my own thing um I could have probably added my name but I did not so that's that so I'm off to the side that goes in let's check out these things right now okay so let's go ahead and open up these wearums with the paint colored fingers and oh wait a minute that looks like somebody added more stuff to my coffee cup who did that was it you Uh, Pinkie Pie added some uh, more paint to my coffee cup here and it looks like she used some puffy paint and um, just added a little bit more details and um, wrote coffee beans with a fabric marker on this and um, it looks like she kind of like smudged some pink in the background of the front here and it looks like there was a whoopsie on the top <laughs> and she tried to cover like the um, the poop um, logo with a coffee bean and we got a crazy little face on the top which is supposed to be a coffee bean I am guessing right pinky yes. yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to do. Sorry. and it didn't quite work out but you know so now we got a crazy face on the top of our gut with puffy paint and puffy paint needs a long time to dry um, so if you do use puffy paint make sure you let that set for quite a while before you touch it and stuff so let's get back to the opening of these wearums so the first one we have the little kitty cat inside and um, looks like there's a hole that we maybe can add something to the cat so that we can wear it um, the cat is very very stretchy so let's go ahead and open up our little surprise in here. Oh, we got another one. So there, it looks like there's two that come in this little container. And we get another little cat. Oh, you know what? You just stick it on your finger and you wear it like that. That is so cute. So there is a checklist in here. So let's go ahead and check that out. Squishy fashion fun. Make your own unique fashion statement. Um, you can put it in your ponytail. You can put it around your phone, um, on your toes, or on your fingers. There's common, rare, and ultra rare. And we have a blue kitty cat and a pink kitty cat. Um, let's try to find the blue cat first with pink. So here's, um, this one is foxy. So maybe it's more like a, it's a fox. So blue is common. So um, the blue outline here is saying that it's common. And then the pink cat with stripes is, uh, this one is Tilela, maybe? And that one's also common. So let's go ahead and check out our narwhal that we have. So we have a narwhal here. And let's find her on the checklist first. It's a pink narwhal. And her name is Nancy. Oh. 
And that one's common. She is so stinking cute. Let's put her on my pinky instead. <clears throat> or on my ring finger. Middle finger. Something. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the surprise one that we have. And it looks like some sort of maybe a tiger. An orange striped kitty cat. Here's the orange striped kitty cat. And let's see what that one is. This one, orange striped kitty cat, is ginger. And it looks like it has a yellow background. And so that means it is rare. So there is like a few ultra rare. It looks like they are sparkly. So here's like Nugget. And here's Puffy, another rare one. This one, Chirpy, looks like a really glittery pink bird. Yeah, there we go. Um, kind of looks like a blob though. So you can also put it in your hair. Let's try it out on Olivia. Hey Olivia, come here. Okay, so here's my daughter who is displaying this really cute wearum. This is the narwhal. And we just have it strapped in her hair just once. And it is super cute. I absolutely love it in the hair. I'm not going to lie. That is a really cute way to wear a ponytail or pigtails. So we're totally going to continue this collection because this is fun. So, hey, coffee beans. I hope you liked this video. Um, my very first DIY, it wasn't quite that great, but you know, first time's the first time, right? So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Curious question of today's video am I, is... Am I? Is what? Am I? <laughs> um, I am curious. Um, the people who are watching my videos, are you guys crafty people? Do you guys like to craft? Do you like to do your own DIYs? Um, if so, comment below. I'm curious what you have created so far. And if you can send me a picture or post a picture of the things that you created... Um, do that because I'm super curious how creative you guys are. So I will catch you guys later. Bye coffee beans.